How to make someone obsessed with you. Step one, figure out their deepest desires. Now, why do you want to figure out someone's desires in order to make them obsessed with you? Well, it's so important to understand how you're going to position yourself in the best light to make that person see you the way you want them to see you. Because just like any other human being, you're a three-dimensional being. You have a bunch of different sides to you, a bunch of different nuances to your personality, right? And you want that person to see you in a particular light that is most desirable to them. So it's very important that you first have an understanding of what light you're even trying to shine on yourself and what position and angle you want them to see you from. So you have to gain an understanding of what are their desires. Do they desire a sporty girl who's into sports? Or do they desire an outgoing, funny, charismatic guy? What is their desire and the way you get an understanding of their desire is by asking them questions right you want to be in the habit of asking questions you want to get curious about the person understand them ask questions or you can look at context clues look at the type of things they post about look at the type of things they talk about right or interested in look at their highlights on social media look at the type of things they post on their story where they're hanging out where they're spending their time that will give you context clues as to what their desires are what motivates them what makes them happy step number two understanding their childhood traumas and or what could be missing in their life. What do I mean by understanding someone's childhood traumas? For example, if a guy, right, let's say he has mommy issues, he's never really feel, felt cared for or nurtured by his mother. And so suddenly you come, he comes across you, he meets you, and all of a sudden you're tending to his needs, you're making sure you know he has the right lunch. You say, oh honey, I know you like to take your particular protein shake before you go to the gym at 10 a.m. So I laid out your protein powder and everything so it's all ready for you before you even have to do it or think about it, right? Things like that. When you're taking care of him, listening to his emotions, is not judging him making him feel safe you know you're completing a part of his childhood that he never had access to right in a nurturing mother or it could be vice versa maybe a, a girl with daddy issues right but you have to first understand what were those things missing in their childhood and see how you can fill those voids emotionally because when you start understand how powerful this is because when you start filling someone's emotional voids you become more than just an attractive person. You become more than just a person, right? You become a part of them, right? No matter what you're going through with that person, no matter what's happening in your relationship, they will always find it that much harder to get rid of you when you're filling a void that has been left open since their childhood. And that's why it's so important to gain an understanding of what those things are. And how do you do that? You have to ask questions once again. You have to be very curious and keep your mouth shut right? It's not about you. It's about learning and understanding the person so you can understand how to best position yourself, right? So the childhood traumas definitely plays a part in that. Number three, and this is vitally, vitally important. So, so important. You have to create mystery, okay? You need to not be so outwardly with how you feel about them and what you think about them. I know we live in a world where we think, oh, in the perfect world, I should just be able to confess my feelings to someone, tell them exactly how I feel and what I think, and they'll just accept me for me and they'll like me all the same, just as much as I like them. Sorry to tell you, that's not how the world works, right? And the only way you're going to get someone obsessed with you is if they have no idea what you're thinking. Now, that doesn't mean, right, they have to think you don't like them. That doesn't mean you have to make them feel the opposite way, like you're mean to them or you dislike them or you don't like their presence. But what you should do is you should never give them too much that they feel secure. You have to create an element of mystery to how you feel about them, but also just about yourself, right? You don't always have to tell someone exactly what you're doing. If you're busy, you don't always have to say, hey, um, by the way, I'm going to be at work from 2.30 p.m. till exactly 4.45 p.m. and then my shift ends. And so I won't be able to text you in between those times except for when I go on my break at 12. It's like, okay, relax, right? Create an aura of mystery. Just say, yo, I was busy or I can't hang out today. You know, I'm doing something. I got other plans. You know what I mean? 
and you post and you're going out to these extravagant places, you're doing these extravagant things. When they ask you questions about it, just be vague. Just be like, yo, I was doing some stuff with some friends. Oh, we had a great time. It was awesome. Some people wanted to take me out. Some people wanted to do stuff with me. Right? Create an element of mystery so they're intrigued by you, so they want to chase after you, so they want to know more. Right? Nobody gets a chance to want and desire to know more about you if you give them everything right away. Keep an element of mystery to yourself, right? Right? to the person that you are, and also keep an element of mystery in the things that you share. Which leads me to my fourth and most important point. Change your aura. What does that mean by change your aura? What I mean by that is you have to understand energy plays a part in how people feel about you. If you're desperate, right? If you're desperate for a relationship, you're desperate to find someone, you're desperate to love someone, your aura is going to exude that. Your aura is just like your energy, right? As we're walking around as human beings, we all have an aura that surrounds us. And the moment someone comes in contact with us, they can feel our aura, right? Have you ever been around someone and just the moment you sit with them, even though nothing's being said, you feel uneasy, right? You feel uneasy in their presence. Something about them is communicating to you that things are off. Something's not right, right? That's their aura that's surrounding them. And your aura seeps through you from your mind and your emotions, right? So if you've convinced yourself that you're desperate for love, you need this person, you have to have this person, you can't live without this person, you're exuding that in your aura and they can sense that, right? And the way that you talk and your tone, everything about you is going to exude desperation. And the easiest way for someone to lose attraction to you is for them to feel like you're desperate for them, right? You have to look as unbothered as possible. Your life and your mindset has to become, I'm going to do me regardless of what you're doing, right? My life is going to go in this direction on this train. If you want to get on this train, cool. If you don't want to get on this train, perfectly fine with me. It's not going to affect me or my life or my happiness either way. And that's the aura you have to exude because people start to say, damn, I really do like you. I like your, they start to say things like, I like your vibe. You just, I feel good around you. I like, I like, I like how you, how I like how you carry yourself. You know, when they start saying, I like how you carry yourself, that's all part of that. They see the confidence in you. They see that you're unshaken by, the, by other people's reaction to you or what other people say about you, what, how other people feel about you, right? And people are attracted to that confidence because they wish they had that confidence. They want some of that confidence, right? And, and, and that confidence communicates to them that there are good qualities about you. They need to know more about you. They, that you, you are someone they want to know, right? Because you walk around knowing that you're that person, right? And so because you believe that and your aura exudes that, they also believe that. 